Hello once again, and um, we are running um, a Commodore 64 emulator called Frodo C64 um, on two smartphones, um, two different, completely different smartphones of um, two different ages. This is a four-year-old Samsung Galaxy S3. This is my old phone, and this is my new. Sony Xperia XZ just I've only had it about two weeks it's a brand new phone and this is a four-year-old phone um, but we got the same emulation running so what we're gonna do we're gonna choose a game let's first of all use the Samsung Galaxy S3 so we're gonna choose a game let's bring this one into shot hopefully because if we can see that right let's choose a game so load disk oh we don't want to see that horrible face in the camera do we um let's just choose a game um just sewing something quickly um let's choose bmx race so i know this is going to be a quick game we're not going to do a graphical test or anything like that so we're just going to start the disk that's normal Right, okay, let's just turn the sound up. I didn't realise the game starts straight away. Right, okay, now we've got the game ready. Make sure we can hear sounds. Oh, I'm trying to look. Oh! Ah! So you can hear a little bit of clickering and clackering with the SID chip it well it's not exactly the SID chip it's emulating the SID chip but it's it sounds all right but it's not perfect um, Frodo 64 is not the most perfect emulator out there but what we're gonna do as we can see it's game over we're gonna save the state and then we'll start again then push that and load load disk no load state so I come back to this point here game over um, and this is on a four-year-old phone now let's re reset it now we're going to do the same thing on the new um, Sony Xperia XZ so what we're going to do oh well, that's the wrong button oh, I have to pick up this oh just make sure I get it in shot it's always difficult this is right so we load disk and we'll load exactly the same game uh, here we go where is it oh, I've gone totally wrong oh this is not going too well at the moment because I just totally right BMX racer start do the same thing right make sure we can get this on Right. Okay. Right, so we're playing the same game. So far, the sounds are sounding okay. Sound sounds like the other one but I know with the, this on this phone it can glitch the sounds actually do glitch uh, but what we're gonna do we're gonna do exactly the same thing we're gonna save state and what we're gonna do have another go and we're gonna load state and it says no file state is found so for some reason the same emulator glitches with this phone and I know there's a lot of let's see if we can have a game because I'm sure the sounds might start glitching in a minute but no it sounds all right what we do we have to for some reason the sounds are all right at the moment but I know let's choose another game something we're all familiar with 
Um, oh, if I push the right button, load disk. Let's just say we we choose something with some music in it. Um, again, with uh, quite a bit of music. Outrun, for instance, because that has got a nice soundtrack in it. Um, start the disk. Oh, maybe I've got to reset the game first. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes, that's what you've got to do. Reset the game. And it starts to load. Alright, we've got to call up the keyboard and push return. And what do we have? Ah! F1, enter your name. Uh, we just, just push F7, I guess. Oh, wait, what was it? F5. Just get on with the game. Alright. So maybe when it loads, I'll call up the keyboard again. One. So the sounds are sounding all right at the moment. And now we've got to change the joystick pulse just to make matters worse. Right, hang on. Uh, more. Change joystick pulse. Right. Right. Let's just play this a minute. Just bear with me. The sounds might. I mean, the sounds ain't sounding bad at the moment. Controls the same, the same controls, a bit weird, it's not used, because you're not used to playing Commodore 64 games on a touchpad, so now that you can hear the sound starting to mess up. You can hear it, now the sounds are messing up. It sounds like it's going in and coming out again. And this is always a problem with this phone on this emulator some reason I do not know and obviously you can't and you can't do the save state, it won't save the states as well with the older phone it can it really sounds really horrible now you can hear, I think if you want to play it back on the computer you'll be able to hear it it really sounds like it's going in and out it's not great at all so what we're going to do we're gonna just reset it yeah so that is a problem with this phone but there's nothing wrong with this phone because I've obviously listened to other sounds other applications so there's nothing wrong with a set nothing wrong with a phone whatsoever it's just this um, Frodo C64 just does not work with this phone properly Maybe the, the operating system, the new um, uh, Android, is um, it's not compatible enough with it. That's what I'm thinking. That perhaps this software, because it is the same. I think it's the same version of this Commodore 64. Um, yeah. So what I usually do, there is a better version of um, a Commodore 64 emulator. What something we're all familiar with on. Um, the PCs and that is Vice 64 but with this Vice 64 no, oh, I'm looking at the computer here I don't want to see myself right so here we are so we can push that and we call up the keyboard but um, so in order to load up again you got to bring that out push that and then we'll see a menu can the computer can the screen pick this up just about yeah my webcam is not great um, so so what we got to do is insert a disk image um, so we got to go all the way back to I'll go to my this is my SD card what I've got in the phone so go to emulators Commodore 64 and now I've got all my games and you have to do this every single time it don't just stay in this menu this um, 
this folder you have to keep doing this it is a real pain in the neck to keep doing this um, so let's choose it's not easy so let's choose outrun again so we go run okay and it does that and we go run and you got to do that all okay again so there we go so choose get the keyboard out push return push um, F5 get rid of the keyboard so you got the buttons here it's a, a little bit easier but it's just a lot of messing about at first uh, now we've got to get the keyboard out push 1 and the sound sound good and I have to say I don't know if the cam webcam is doing it any justice it runs a lot smoother so so and also you can the joystick comes up when you put your think thumb on the on the touch pad on the, or the touch glass whatever you want to call it but what we've got to do call up the menu again because we have to go into settings and this is right just push anywhere so we got to go into machine settings and joystick settings um, swap joystick ports and then get out of it and hopefully it's done it yes and let's try again so same game but with unlike that you can and the controls feel a little bit more responsive than the other emulator I have to say it is the vice emulator is a better emulator than the Fondo. And we're not getting any sound problems. It's a little bit weird. You can hear it sort of cutting out. But the gameplay itself is a lot more smoother than Fondo. It is a better emulator, but it's got a few little bit of problems, a few problems here and there. As I say, the sound just cuts out sometimes for about a split second. I don't know if you can adjust the pitch on it, because as you can see, it is stretched. But as I say, you can put the, your thumb anywhere on the screen, and the joystick will react. That's your um, button there. Yep, sounds are good. Just go get, yeah, there we go. So what we do, we get the idea of it. So we quit out of that. Yeah. So if you're going to go through a Commodore 64 emulator, which is free, these are both free, of course. There is another one on there that you've got to pay for, but I haven't tried that one out yet. If you've got an older um, I have not tried out Vice on this yet. I have not tried it out at all. I'm not going to. This phone is pretty much redundant, so there's, there is a few problems with this phone. So that's why I bought a new phone because I need something that's not going to crash. That crashes because it's getting old. It's, there's problems with it. This one, yeah. So I would recommend if you want to use a, a Commodore 64 emulator that is free. I would recommend using. Vice. Use Vice on that. Don't use Frodo. Oh, now I'll bring up the Vic 20. <laughs> After all that, I pushed the wrong one. I've got the Vic 20, and you can't even see it for some reason. Here you go. I think because it's got a white screen, when you do that, you can't really see it unless my camera's not focusing properly. Um, I did not want to do that. Um, I've not tried out the Vic 21, but I think it pretty much is the same as the. Commodore 64, no, it's got a different menu. But, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Anyway, that's basically it, really. That's just what I just wanted to show you the differences between an older phone and a new phone. Um, obviously, if you're going to use that, maybe give Frodo a chance on that. But if you've got a new phone, I don't know if it's just something to do with the Sony. I don't know. Perhaps if you had another, if the newer Galaxy, I do not know. 
Um, but that's just, this is my experience is with the two phones and the two emulators running on either phone. Um, anyway, I think that's it now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.